Hey guys, let's check out who is coming towards you or what is coming towards you guys for this upcoming week. Let's see, who's coming towards my Pisces? Who's coming towards my Pisces? Hmm, could have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual coming towards you guys um, somebody that is mm, they may be angry they may be hurt uh, they they may want to hear you say something to their face is what I'm hearing here these two cards just did not want to go back in there um, four of swords right now you're you're just really not trying to have any kind of confrontation with this person and then we have the ten of wands Sagittarius yeah, you, you've got a lot on your plate right now and you just really, I feel, you're not trying to deal with any kind of conflict. Um, you guys have definitely been hurt and I feel that, um, I feel like it's, it's like you got a lot of weight on your shoulders. You've got a lot of weight on your shoulders. This person definitely wants to tell you something though. But I'm getting, I'm getting this feeling like, like this person, um, may be trying to bully you into doing something. Okay, Gemini energy with their lovers, trying to bully you into making a choice. Hmm. Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra. Trying to bully you into making a choice. Six of Swords energy. Aquarius energy. I feel that right now, I don't think you guys really want to have a conversation. Um, I think you feel really betrayed by somebody. This person wants to discuss what has happened between the two of you in the past they want to let bygones be bygones whatever that means for you strong air energy here in your reading so I'm feeling that this air energy wants you to make a choice okay and they want to talk about it have the high priestess you need some time I feel Hold on one second, guys. I feel like you need some time to really kind of think about what it is that you actually want and to make sure you're doing the right thing for you. Okay? I feel this person putting pressure on you. I feel them putting pressure on you. Hmm. Let's see. And then we have the Four of Wands here. What I'm getting from this is that this person has done something to definitely betray you, to wrong you, to hurt you, to disappoint you guys here. And this person may have had um, somebody else and and how they're trying to like draw you back in is with maybe a proposal of marriage but they're like pushing you to do it when before marriage might not have even come up so it's like they're putting that on the table for you and trying to push you to make a decision right now because basically I feel this person has been caught with their hand in a cookie jar for a lot of you now let me say this and I, I very rarely bring up twin flame relationships but I feel that that is exactly what this is and this is one of the the hardest relationships, soulmate relationships, um, 
karmic relationships to deal with. So you really have to go within and figure out what's best for you with this high priestess energy. Use your intuition, okay? Let's see what else we've got for you guys here. Mm -hmm. The Empress. The Empress. They really do want to, <clears throat> they want to have a, build a life with you. They want to build a life with you. They want to start over. I don't think that you have shared exactly what it is that you really want to do. I think deep in your gut, you know, this relationship is, um, this relationship weighs on you. I think you've put up with a lot from this person. You may be married to this person already for some of you. And um, this person is wanting to renew that. I can't even talk. Wanting to renew vows for some of you. But, you know, I'm getting that you guys cannot stop thinking about the betrayal here. And other things. I feel like this person, you feel, mistreats you at times, okay? Takes you for granted. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles energy. What that's telling me is that coupled with the Empress, think about what's best for you. What is, what's the best thing for you to do right now? What's going to make you happy? What's going to provide you stability mentally, emotionally, physically? And if you don't know right now, then this is for you, this Knight of Pentacles. Take your time. Do not let anybody rush you. This is what this is saying. You don't have to be rushed or bullied into starting over, forgiving this person instantly marrying this person if you're not already married to them renewing vows if that's what they want you to do reaffirming your love and commitment to them no when you're ready make sure it's what's best for you we have Taurus Libra Aquarius Gemini Sagittarius Aries energy okay Oh, a lot of cards. I saw. Oh my gosh. I did see the Wheel of Fortune flip over. And what's on the table right now is the Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely a card of somebody that is single and gaining their confidence. Okay. Not needing to be in a relationship. Just basically working on themselves. Okay not having a tag along or a drag along you know however you want to put it but I'm going to put this back in the deck I did see the will of fortune so I do see some major changes happening for you guys and um, I feel that you are on the right track to making a decision that is right and just for you you know doing what's best for you and defending yourself defending yourself this is a single card with this nine of wands energy you guys i think you've had enough you're at your breaking point here with this ten of wands energy you've had enough um and i think your defenses are definitely up when it comes to this person and you know what their motives are towards you what their intentions are towards you and i think you you are defending your own stability it's got you almost trapped though because I feel like you guys have been so very hurt before okay and I don't see you really making a decision one way or the other right now not this week mm -mm. I don't blame you take some time to yourself and really figure out what it is that is best for you guys okay so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon bye now